Young people are the future of the world, but many of them find it hard to fulfill their full potentials. Globally, more than one-fifth of the 1.21 billion young population are not in education, employment, or training. Various solutions initiated by international organizations draw blueprints to put more young people in class and on duty. Yet turning them into reality for all remains a huge challenge. Some from these developing countries seem to have found their answers. We want to train our youth to be skilled, to be able to do what they need to do. And as we continue to get industrialized, they will take uh, advantage of the skills they learn. And this way, we are going to get to the next level of development. Here is a modern farm. Herbert Agaba, an agricultural drone pilot, is flying an agricultural drone to spray pesticides to rice fields. It's a, a big process. Uh, you know, it is technology, new technology here. So I'm still learning. Agaba is the first professionally trained agricultural drone pilot in Uganda. He learned the skills in a training project organized by a Chinese company. Uh, the good thing with the Chinese here, when you come and you have the ability, you acquire skills from here freely. They train. And when you are trained, practically, you can be more than that who, learned, who went to school. This is the East Coast Rail Link ECRL in Malaysia, a belt and road project that covers over 600 kilometers of track. It will bring multiple benefits to the country upon completion. If you want to join a mega project, you must have two or three minimum experience, uh, two or three years minimum experience. So to join it with fresh track uh, status uh, is quite uh, important for me. PIK is a very important platform for me to reach where I am I'm at now. Xiamin signed up for the PLKI ECRL, the Industrial Skills Training Program in 2017, after graduating from university. The program is carried out by enterprises, universities, as well as training institutions from both China and Malaysia. It is designed to train 5,000 technicians to support the ECRL project and the railway development in the Southeast Asian nation. According to the International Labor Organization, young women are more likely than men to be unemployed and to be in poor quality jobs. Improved access to training opportunities will help increase the employability of young women. Luban Workshop, a Belt and Road vocational training program, is providing this kind of opportunities. تعلمنا حاجة اسمها الجي كود اللي هو اللغة اللي بيفهمها البرنامج الماشين دي بحيث إن إحنا نطلع شكل معين. فكان معانا باش مهندس بيساعدنا ان احنا نتعلم اللغه دي وانا عن نفسي في مشروع تخرج بتاعي انا بستخدم اللغه دي هقدر عندها متاونم كي درس سولد من هورا از خود باور داریم كي درس سولد متاونم كي با خوبي استفاده بريم از خود برو و با سيون ها كور نمايم و من چي تاو كور كردن يون هورا در سي سولد استفاده مي نمايم China has a remarkable experience in Tibet. Chinese government is promoting the participation of non-state providers in Tibet. Also, it's helping transform the uh, Tibet experience. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, partnership with Chinese institutions, with the, uh, the institutions from the Belt and Road countries, can help us accelerate achieving SDGs and achieving the uh, green development targets.